Hello everyone, welcome to Pristine. Today we are going to learn Excel for CPA Module 1, Working with Databases. Before we start, have a look at the agenda. We are going to learn how to import data from ERP systems or other external sources like text files, ODBC data source, SQL table and web queries from internet. Once we import the data, we are going to learn how to format and how to report the data, how to analyze the data and once we do that, we are going to learn how to present the data. First of all, we are going to understand what is the database. Database is the structured collection of records and to show you how it works, let's have a look at This is your ERP system, let's say SAP. It has different modules and as a user you are working with one of the module, that's a finance module of ERP and when you export some report or query you get let's say CSV file and PRM file for instance. And once you get this file as an output, you want to understand how to import it into Excel and how to format and analyze and work with that. So we will start with one case study about importing the data. Ramano CPA works with TNY. His manager gave him some exported CSV and PIM data file and asked him to import the data from the given files. Massage data and present it in presentable format. Ramano, who has just cleared his CPA exams and started his professional career, has never played around with such kind of data, so he is getting problem in following activities. Importing the data, mining the data, formatting the data, and finally create the report in presentable format. Now suppose he approached you and asked your help in preparing the report, help Ramano in getting and importing the data and preparing the report. So let's say that these are the two files which you have exported from your ERP system and one of them is CSV format while the other one is PRN format. CSV format file is CSV file comma separated value file which you can open in Excel very easily because the default association of that file is with Excel and Excel understands the comma separated value file very well. So there is no issue while opening the CSV file in Excel. As you can see over here, the name of the file is still CSV. So remember, you are not working with Excel file. If you want to save this file, you can save it as Excel file separately. But otherwise, the Excel format and Excel features are not available directly. So if you work, if you work with this file and format it, it will not get saved unless you save it in Excel SM or Excel SV or Excel SX format. Now let's look at this other file, which is PRN file. If you double click on that, there is no default file association available. So we need to cancel this and go to Excel. Press Ctrl O to bring file open dialog box. And then remember to select all files from this so that you can see PRN file or some other files extensions available in your folder. By default, this will be XLSX, XLSM, all Excel files basically. So in this case, I have selected all files to be a, so that I can be able to see this data underscore erp.prn file. I will double click on that file. So it will bring text import wizard as you can see. So since I know that this file is prn file and as you can see this file is having predefined format but there is no delimiter so we are going to use fix width next as you can see to create a break line click at the desired position to delete a break line double click on the line to move a break line click and drag it so for the time being have a look at the format we don't want this line so I'm double clicking on that similarly to this line also and to this line 
I want to break it over here first and then next one I need to break it over here. So now when I import it, of course this option tells you that okay if your fork data is in specific format you can convert it into specific format over here. For the timing let's ignore it and press finish. Now as you can clearly see that it was not as easy as CSV file. So in this case PRN file you need to remember one thing it is not comma separated value there is no delimiter present in that. So to open PRN file you need to open it through file open dialog box and in that you need to use text import wizard. Well one more important thing to note in this case is because we divided these columns arbitrarily based on fixed width some of the labels are divided into columns you can correct it if you want because our main data in this case starts from here so we are ok right now but just keep in mind that you need to slightly reformat your PRN file once even once you import it so far we have opened two files from Excel and then we have worked on that so we have opened file itself it was the file which we have worked on was CSV and PRN file respectively so in case if you open them you format them and then if you want to save it you need to save it as separate XLS file or XLSV file whatever way you want to save it but those file itself were text file so that's why it is called indirect method of importing it is direct method of opening but indirect method of importing so remember this difference so over here we will quickly glance through two methods indirect methods this is the method which we have already understood this is under indirect method the text file is imported from excel's file open dialog box using text import wizard specifically this is true in case of PRN file in this case once the data is imported the same cannot be auto refreshed we will
linking it, of course you are importing it, so you are linking it. And since you are linking it, you can refresh it based on your requirement. And this is a much better method to import your data. Time for a quick review now. Importing CSV or PRN file using direct method. Of course, first of all, you need to have a blank Excel file opened. Then you need to click on data tape. Under that, you need to go to get external data and click on from text. Click on the desired file. Click on import. Once you have that, you need to step two is to make necessary changes in the text import wizard, which you need to select based on the file type which you have. If you know that your file contains delimiter, in this case we know it is a comma, so we click on comma. Then the third step is to select your data type of the column. In this case we know it is a date format, so we select date data type and we click on finish. So now once we do that we can choose where to put our data and you have your data ready available. The benefit of course is to have refresh option available, edit text import and you can choose the time interval when you can update and refresh your data. Advantage vis-a-vis -vis from your last method which was indirect method is very clear. You are working in a new file, you are not touching your original file. The original file contents are intact, you are not touching it. Of course you are importing it, so you are linking it. And since you are linking it, you can refresh it based on your requirement. And this is a much better method to import your data.